Hey guys, AC here. You know, it's been a while. I've done a full review. I know I have to do the um, Compliment Gods Part 3, but I wanted to do a full review. Sometimes, you know, I have this urge of doing a full review. So today, I have got a fragrance which I consider to be a, a pure glass in a bottle. It's a fragrance which has been around for a while, more than a decade. Prada Amber. As simple as that. See how under understated the bottle is. It's a light purple colored juice. Beautiful. This is a 50 ml bottle. It's a lovely, lovely understated bottle and the fragrance is as classy as they get. So let's start with the review. This fragrance basically released I think in 2005, maybe 2007. I can't get the right uh, year of release and was created by two lovely ladies. Muccia Prada, the owner or granddaughter of the person who set up Prada, she's a billionaire. She was involved in creation of this fragrance. And along with that, I think the other one is, other lady is Daniela Roche Andrea. Absolutely fantastic job here, ladies. Hats off to you. So guys, this fragrance has been reviewed many times and the word that is this used to describe this fragrance is soapy, right? And it is soapy. When you first spray this, right? You get this luxurious, clean scent, as if you're using a very expensive soap, handmade soap. And you know what it smells like? Any wrapper of a, of a soap bar, if you take it off and you just smell the wrapper, it has this silken, rubbery or leathery, soapy scent. That's how it smells like. It smells like absolutely squeaky clean soap. Yeah, that's how it starts. So let's start with how the fragrance opens up. It has got a very distinct soapy scent smell, right? So it uses bergamot, so it's quite bright. It uses mandarin, so it is orangey and slight hint of sweetness. And these two combine together with it, Neroli. Yeah, again, orange blossom. Beautiful, soapy, slightly floral. And there, there's another floral which joins the part in that saffron. So it's, but it's not very spicy and that's what gets me. This fragrance is quite a complex fragrance. And there's one generic word used to describe this fragrance, which is soapy, but it's much, much more than that. And the result on the top is a very aromatic, bright, slightly oriental fragrance, yeah? So bergamot, saffron, <coughs> neroli, excuse me, <coughs> and uh, cardamom, I believe. Uh, that's what the top constitutes. Once the fragrance is about five minutes, six minutes into its dry down, it brings in another beautiful note, which I really like, and that is myrrh. It brings in myrrh, and it brings in another uh, beautiful note of orange blossom and it combines this beautiful synergy of myrrh. Myrrh is, as you know, a slightly from the olibanum family, so it's slightly incensey, very slightly incensey, and brings in neroli, which gives it that manly edge. Yeah, still soapy, still very much soapy. And why I call it complex is when it hits the base, that's when it brings in a load of notes. And they are all very apparent, but you have to really think about them. So what does it bring in? It brings in amber. So a little bit of warmth and it brings in vanilla. Amber and vanilla are a magical combination, guys. If properly done, it makes a fragrance magical. So it brings in amber and vanilla. And then it brings in labdanum. Now labdanum is another note which is quite interesting because it has this ambery, soapy, leathery feel to it. You see what I mean? And then it brings in leather. And the leather used here is like a suede leather. Very, very delicate kind of a leather. Yeah, delicate suede. So these notes together give you two distinct journeys. One is the soapy, bright feel. And then the dry down is this ambery, vanillic, beautiful, fougere-like feel. If you see what I mean? There is another floral they have used here. And that is geranium and it's like lemony rosy floral 
So yeah, if you see what I mean, and that's in the heart. That also adds to that lemony quality you get right at the top. It's a beautiful composition. It uses so many interesting notes, and the composition is so well created. You know, it's like a beautiful symphony. Yeah, lovely, lovely fragrance, guys. So, pros and cons. Number one pro. This is one of those fragrances which doesn't cost you a lot of money, but it smells complex and wonderful. As I said, class in a bottle. So that's number one pro, yeah? Very classy fragrance. Number two pro is great value for money. This thing really, really doesn't cost you a lot of money, but it gives you a lot in return. A fantastic fragrance. Number three, compliment Ghana. I went fragrance shopping the, the last Sunday and it was a very very hot day so I had sprayed about four or five on my t-shirt and I went into the shop and I was basically talking to the lady about Prada fragrances and she asked me sir what fragrance are you wearing because you smell rather nice and she could smell me over all this so I told her I was wearing a Prada fragrance amber and she says hmm we don't seem to stop that and, and it's true you don't see it in, in um, the UK shops, but it's available online quite easily. And she said to me that you smell rather nice, very, very nice, very apt for this weather. So it's a compliment garner. And the fourth pro is this fragrance is tremendously versatile. I can wear this in high heat. I wore this to office in winter months. It just smells different, but it smells wonderful. It never loses that soapy edge but it smells a little bit different than winter months. Summer months, you will shine. And the fifth pro is the performance. It's got tremendous projection and lasting. Lasting power is tremendous. I'm talking about eight plus hours easy. Projection, at least one or two arms length if you go, go heavy. Four sprays on your shirt, people will smell you in a room quite easily. So five pros. Downsides. <clears throat> Some people may not like this fragrance because how soapy it is. It will make them, it will overwhelm them. You know, it's like really smelling a, a soap very close to your nose. That's the only thing I can say, so test it please. If you do not like such fragrances, then let me, let me give you an analogy. If you don't like Mugler Cologne, you may not like this. Uh, I can't think of any other soapy fragrances, but that's the only one that came to mind. Yeah? Just give it a give it a test. Um, any other downsides? I can't think of any other uh, One more. If you go by the name and think that you're buying an amber fragrance, you'll be surprised. This is not like a traditional amber fragrance. Yeah, amber has a lot of warmth to it. It um, literally is a very somber sort of a fragrance, sort of melancholic. Amber is when you look inside you. This thing doesn't look inside itself. It goes out. It's very bright fragrance. So those are the two downsides, if I, if I could add. Um, I've touched on all aspects, I believe. One more important thing is going to be the age group. I think this is such a easy to wear, dumb rich fragrance for any age group. Yeah, you could be a 20 year old, you could be a 60 year old, 70 year old. This fragrance doesn't wear you. You carry it. And who doesn't like smelling clean, vibrant and classy those are the three words i'd use you know it's a clean vibrant and classy fragrance absolutely stunning buy if you buy this you're gonna enjoy it but do test it to see if it fits your taste hope you like the review and before i go how many marks would i give it i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten the only reason i'm taking one mark away is for the fact that just you know this is cool for improvement and there are other Prada fragrances which are there which you should try but this one a solid 9 out of 10. 10. Um, highly versatile, smells classy, very modern, very attractive, gets compliments. You can't ask for more at this price point. 9 out of 10. Hope you like the review fellas. Take care. Bye bye.